So at the end, Usher turns around and he was the first one to speak to me. And when he did, I was like, well, why didn't you turn around, Usher? And he just looked at me and pointed at the white lights in front of him. And I realized that I had a four chair turn, which I didn't, it, I didn't realize it in the moment. So I had like another little celebration after that. And I like skipped around in, in my spot and the crowd cheered for me I, again. I felt kind of silly, but it was really awesome and such a humbling experience. And it was um, the proof I needed you know, for myself to know that this is what I meant to do and to continue following my dream. The feeling of all four coaches turning around was insane. I wasn't really prepared for it. Um, like I said, I really tried to visualize every time I practiced the song, I would close my eyes and imagine the chairs turning almost in that specific order that they did. So that was pretty cool. Um, but it's still indescribable. I mean, you go up there and you know we live our whole lives with this big dream and to be a singer and as you get older, it kind of seems less obtainable, especially for me coming from a small town in Texas. and. It was just so neat. It was like a dream come true. I find that when I sing, I tend to imitate the artists that I'm covering. So I'm really interested in discovering my own sound and, and really expanding on that and developing more dynamic um, versatility with, with what I'm able to do.